I take the train to work every day. I, I find it suits my, my routine. Um, there was one day I saw this really cute girl and she got on the train. I'm like, oh, I should go talk to her. And then and I got off the train I went to my bus and damn, I see this girl going towards the bus. I'm like, it's, it's one thing to avoid a girl on the train, but if you're on the same bus, like, it's kind of awkward. So I just kind of, well, you know that, that moment where you can, you know, leap across the chasm? Well, basically I just jumped into the chasm and it, it just pained me. I, I started taking an earlier bus so I could avoid this girl. And finally I, I decided, I think it was, you know, a little time later I'll tell you, but I, I decided I was, that day I was going to talk to her on the train and I didn't see her for like six months. And then one day I saw her on the train and I'm like, oh crap, I can't do it and just kept on going. Finally, like two years later, I was here, I'm going to talk to her. So I got out of the bus, I was like planted in the seat, took all of my courage from like, I think Bren Mar to like, Rosemont, to get out of my seat, just walk over. It was like un unbelievable. But I walked over and I sat down. She's a nice girl. She has a serious boyfriend. She's been dating for about two years. But I, I think, I, think I, I tend to avoid girls. And I'm really, really sorry to any girl who's actually ever tried to make an effort to talk to me. Because you just, it's just kind of like deer in the headlights. But I think my life, when it comes to meeting women, sometimes it's like a TiVo, but it's all the bad parts we played back and forth. Like, oh no, it's a horror story, the, the movie sound becomes up. But I, I have been going speed dating, and, and the interesting thing about speed dating is that you know within 15 seconds if you're going to talk or if you're going to mesh, and it's like, it's very efficient. I, I, I think one time I put yes for everyone, and I got Zero. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I'm a computer programmer, I think, so I think it was a bug. But I, I think, well, there, I was about, I went on this one speed game, which is amazing. It was like the Food Network as a TV show and her date. I get to tell the story some other time, but I was thinking of the email to this one girl I met. And out of the blue, she emailed me. And this was like three months ago, because I was, was this one girl I really hit it off with, and she was busy at the time. We only talked on the phone, and she's getting her like graduate degree. And she just, so I just, and she emailed me, hey, you want to hang out? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm done with school, or I'm not as busy with school. So I emailed her back. I, I emailed her story. I'm like, what the hell? What the fuck did I do that? But, <laughs> but I ended up, it, it was Tuesday, and, and Sunday I finally called her and talked to her, and we hit it off. And oh, she's like, come come, come with me to my roommate's concert. I'm like, uh, okay, you know, 7.30, <laughs> gotta take a shower. <laughs> like, so I went up to around Brown and Gerard, got off this dark, stormy night. And it was just like, what the hell am I doing? Go in, there's a building, guys at the door, are you here for the concert? Uh, yeah. Go up. And I come into this room, and it's like this beautiful loft. You would never know. There's a beautiful loft around 16th and Gerard. And it's, it's a producer's. And so it was basically a, a showcase. And these, it was like a private concert. We just sat down, and these, her roommate was amazing. But these are like, a showcase is like a, something, a concert they throw to like, Gauge how good you are in front of an audience. It was just like the most unbelievable concert because this guy, the producer, had the most unbelievable sound system in the lot. I mean, it's like the difference between an AM clock radio and a, a real stereo. I mean, it, it was just it blew me away. And I, I'm, I, I kind of felt this like set the bar really high. I really hit it off with this this girl. And I don't know, maybe maybe it's more more of an audition. But who knows? I'm just gonna have to call her.